In another first for Dormax, the company will shortly be introducing an innovative accessory for end-type mitre joints. The accessory is extremely versatile and can accommodate numerous sizes and applications. The system is ideal for drawers, mirrors, Chippendale feet and numerous other uses. Joints can be blind or through. Exposed dowels exit at approximately 45 degrees to the main axis, exhibiting a no void shape. For aesthetic purposes, use mahogany or dark wood for these dowel applications. Let's get started. The most significant difference between Dalmax and the competing systems is the ability of Dalmax to complete end mitres. This newly designed mitre accessory will be available shortly. Now I'll begin this demonstration with the uh, three quarter inch stock and at the outset we, with a mitre you only require two, two check marks. Now I should point out that when you're doing these mitre joints it is advantageous to use the spacers in here to, to get the, the dull bores as close to this inner corner as required. That gives you more, a longer joint, a longer dull and uh, greater strength. Now we're using the, the three quarter, this three eight system for this and for the three quarter inch stock we require a quarter inch spacer. This system will accommodate almost any size of mitre. So we go to the check mark. Line it up. I've already drilled these bores so in order to save time so i give you an idea. And in re-drilling it gives you an indication of the absolute accuracy of the system. Now I've just drilled one, two, four and five, but however you could drill all five, but it's not really necessary with a mitre joint, it doesn't require a tremendous amount of strength. This system is also handy for Chippendale feet for joining uh, those, those segments. Now go back to your original check marks. together. There's a perfect joint. Absolutely flush here. No, not even requirement for sanding. Absolutely square. Perfect example. Now another example I'll show you is the is what I use for drawers on occasion sometimes Sometimes I'll use the quarter inch dowel, sometimes I'll use the half inch dowel. On this occasion I've used the quarter inch dowel. Uh, it's a blind hole and uh, then we use the, the quarter inch system. Now the, in this case the, with the half inch wood or plywood or whatever face plywood there's no requirement for a spacer. Merely place this in here, clamp it, use the, your check mark and drill one, two, four and five or whatever you want and do the same sequence with the other one and you once again you'll have a, a perfectly and a strong enough joint for a, for, for a, uh, a drawer. Now uh, another example this is, again is with the, the 3 8 inch dowels and it's a through, a through f uh, fitting and um, in order to do this one um, you're using the 3 8 dowels but, uh, to come through but you also require a backing plate, the backing plate goes on there like that and you have to adjust your spacing to suit and the, the reason for the backing plate is twofold and one is to prevent excessive tear out here because you want a nice finish there and the other is to protect the mitre accessory. Um, 
Another example is again, again the three quarter with a with a um, through through dial again using the three eight dial, and as you can see, it's fairly attractive. Um, this one, of course, would require the backing plate again and the additional spaces to spread the the dial centres. Now, as I said, this system is is uh, useful for all sizes. This is. To give you an example, this is one and a half inch wood or stock, and uh, it's just the same procedure. Um, although we can go to the centre on this one because we've got lots of scope, and you can have a one and a half inch dowel in there. And once again, of course, we're using the three eight, but in this particular case, we need the th three quarter inch spacer. And again, just go by your check mark. The check mark is on this side. Clamp it and drill one, two, four, and five, or whatever. And um, as you can see, go back to your check marks. There you are. Perfect joint. Absolutely flush at the top. An important design feature of Dalmax, which sets it apart from other joining and dowel systems, is the ability to disassemble and rearrange the various components. This factor greatly increases the versatility of the device and the system. With the advent of our newly designed 45 degree angle accessory presently under production, I can state that I am not aware of any joint configuration that Dalmax is not able to successfully undertake. I'd now like to show you some unusual joint assemblies and configurations that other similar dowel systems are not designed to complete. Let's get started. Most of you know that for maximum strength and rigidity, it is important to place dowels as close to the center line of the workpiece as possible. Now, sometimes I'll use 3 8 thick wood. Um, this is mainly to reduce weight and I also use it for the center panel of raised panel systems. Now, there is a simple dowel max formula for centering of wood of any thickness. You simply half the thickness and, and deduct 3 8 of an inch. So in this particular case, we have 3 8 thick wood. Half that is 3 16 minus 3 8 is minus 3 16 Now, the negative reading is significant because in this particular case, rather than it said the three, three sixteen spaces between reference bracket and block. We secure them to the face of the reference bracket. Okay, now to begin, as, as usual, you have to mark your reference parts on the important faces. This is the front face here, and the top edges here and here. And we also place an X on the surfaces to be drilled. Now, if you do this, you can't do it improperly. So the first one piece. Now I've already drilled these to save time. This is purely a demonstration. So clamp down max. Now what I did here is a reference to this this face and the, this edge. And in this particular case, there's a, there's a myriad of different combinations you can use, but in this particular case, I've used two and three. We count these one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, either way, it doesn't matter. But we are drilling two and three in this particular case. So then move it along and move the pin into the last bore. There we are. Clamp, tighten that again. Now in the, we're now going to drill four and five. But after that's complete, we move along into the last bore again. Tighten. Again, drill four and five. This keeps it all within thousands of an inch. And you can also use the distance gauge if you prefer it. Since this is a bit overkill, eight holes, you don't need that. Uh, probably four would suffice. Uh, again, we clamp and then we drill again four and five. 
And once that's done, you go back to your original check marks, make sure you're on the right path, and set the dolls. There you are. Perfectly aligned on both the edge and the face. A small sanding will bring those faces beautiful together and they'll almost disappear. The next demonstration involves 5 8 inch thick wood. Again, the competing systems are not designed to center on this thickness. Since this is sometimes a necessity, particularly with sheet goods, it is very frustrating not having that capability. Now, to center on the 5 8 thick wood, we again use the simple Delmax formula, half thickness minus 3 8 So, half of 5 8 5 16 minus 3 8 is minus 16 So, we use a combination of our spaces to achieve this. Uh, these are firmly attached to the Delmax unit. And give the, this gives us an offset, a negative offset of one sixteenth of an inch. Now again, we use place the check marks on the ribbon, the two front faces, two check marks, two check marks on the two top edges, and an X on each face to be drilled. And again, using this, you can't do it wrong. Now, there's the Dalmax with its it's set up, uh, check mark to check mark, check mark here to there, and again I've already drilled these to save time. Now in this case, we've drilled one, two, four, one, two, three, and four, and the same on the other, the other woodwork piece. Now this, as you can see, it's exactly in the center of the five eight thick workpiece. Now we go back to original check marks, set the dowels, there's absolutely no spacing, no gaps whatsoever. Once again, perfectly flush face and flush edge. I prefer using 78 stock for furniture construction. All furniture shown in our free how-to website pages are 78 stock. The competing systems are not designed to center on this size of wood. To center on 7 8 stock, use the Dalmax formula, half thickness minus 3 8 So 7 8 half is 7 16 minus 3 8 is a 16 Therefore install the two 16 washers between the reference bracket and the reference block. Uh, we can begin again by installing the reference marks on the important faces and the ported edges and the X's on the faces to be drilled. Again, a check mark here and there, a check mark here and there. So we install it like so. We drill one, two, three and four and we employ the same procedure and using the same ref marks on the other workpiece. Once finished, return to your check marks, make sure you're installing it properly. And uh, you see the absolute perfect joint, snug and Again, perfectly flush at the face and at the top edge. The next demonstration will again show the versatility of Dalmax. It involves precise shelf installation. Completely dismantle Dalmax and use an angle bar or wooden batten as fence arrangement. Calculate the centre of the shelf and draw a dotted line as shown here. Move out half an inch and draw a solid line parallel to the dotted line. Then install your check marks as required on the ends and on this face here 
and begin by drilling your sequence of holes in the center of the of the shelf unit. Following that, take Delmax in its disassembled form and align it to the end exactly the same as you did with the shelf. Align it to the end. Clamp it. And in this case what we've done here is we've drilled number two and three. Once that's done, move it along, move it into the the last bore, clamp it, and drill three and four. And keep doing that until you reach the this again is probably overkill. It could probably achieve the same with just four holes, but uh, however, that's what we've done in this particular case. So after it's finished, remove the clamps. Refer back to your check marks. shelf is installed and you, you do the same with the remaining shelves. Very straightforward. <laughs>